Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Uh, today I want to talk about GIF or GIMP animation, which uh, we're going to be referring to GIF files. Uh, GIF files, uh, the format has the ability uh, to um, sequence uh, frames together to create an animation. Uh, some questions were raised on my last uh, video where I was talking about Next Engine, a laser scanner, and I created some uh, GIF animations uh, using both SolidWorks and uh, GIMP. Uh, all we did is uh, use a sequence of frames and any movie or any AVI file uh, does the same thing. You have a sequence of frames that are flashed before the eye and the eye is able to convert those into like an analog image where you see continuous motion. And GIMP has the ability to take frames and sequence them together to create animation. Uh, here's what I did uh, using GIMP. This isn't supposed to be a complete tutorial on GIMP, but I'm just giving you uh, some of the things that I used in GIMP uh, to create the animation. Uh, GIMP is a very powerful uh, tool. Uh, it's really a clone of uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop, so it has a lot of the same features, such as layers. So within the frames uh, or the pictures that I took from SolidWorks, and you can get uh, you can get frames from a lot of different uh, a lot of different programs. I took uh, not all of the frames, but I took about every fifth frame out of about 75 frames and put those in. So I opened each one in GIMP as a layer. And again, I picked the, like the fifth frame. And it was a total of about, uh, I don't know, probably 10 frames that I, that I selected. Uh, went to Tools, uh, Transform Tools, and then I cropped each picture because there was a lot of background, uh, just white background that I wanted to get rid of. And then just by pressing enter, uh, they were cropped, all of them. Uh, then I used, uh, using filters, I uh, selected animation. I did a playback just to test to make sure that it was working properly. Then I exported this as a GIF image. And you have to go to the fi uh, select file type, which is like in the lower left corner, and just select GIF images. Uh, then uh, by selecting that, another window will open up, and you're going to have to select animation. And by selecting animation, it will sequence those pictures together in an animation. Uh, you can see your animation uh, using just the Internet Explorer or any, uh, any browser or any video player. This makes it kind of nice because almost anything will open up a GIF animation. So you can easily send it through uh, email because they're very small files. They're not large uh, video files. Uh, here again is an example of one of the GIF animation files. Uh, it's... You can speed things up by choosing, uh, you know, fewer frames, or you can slow things down by choosing more frames. This is one, and then here was uh, the second one. I, I scanned the uh, Terracotta Soldier. But again, these are just uh, GIF files that were made in GIMP. And GIMP is a free uh, product, uh, easily found on the Internet just by Googling GIMP, G-I-M-P. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time.